Brainy Dose presents 14 Bad Habits to Give Up If You Want to Be Successful Do you ever wonder why some people can achieve success while others just can't seem to get ahead? Is it a matter of luck or intelligence? Actually, there is more to it than that, and it has to do with habits, and not just the positive habits you need to practice, but also the negative ones that you have to break. Let's find out which bad habits great achievers have given up to succeed. Number 1. Negative Thinking Your brain is like a garden. Your thoughts are like seeds. Whatever you plant there will take root and blossom, be it positive or negative. Therefore, negative thinking is the first habit you need to break if you want to become successful. You see, negativity does nothing but hold you back and hinder your success. It's a slippery slope, and once you've started to slide, it's hard to stop and turn yourself around. Feelings of doubt and frustration follow these thoughts, and they can even lead to depression. So, learn to become aware of the triggers that lead you into pessimism. Once you recognize your triggers, you can stop the negative thoughts before they even have time to take root. Number 2. Envying those who have what you want the way you think and speak about those who have achieved the success you want can either enable you or hinder you from getting it yourself. Putting them down or picking apart their flaws because you envy what they have leads to associating that kind of success with negative attributes or even with being disliked because of it. This envy ultimately sets you up for failure. Negatively judging these people only constricts you more and is an effective way to self-sabotage. Instead of envying others, start admiring their achievements. It will motivate you even more to work toward your goals. Number 3. Squandering Time There has been a lot of advancements in the last hundred years, and technology in particular proves to be a tremendous resource. It can provide access to all kinds of information and can help people stay connected. Texts, emails, and social media are all great examples of this. Unfortunately, they can also be extremely distracting. Every successful person out there knows that time management is an integral part of success and spending hours scrolling through Instagram or Facebook isn't really a good use of your time. Stop wasting so much time and energy on these distractions and start doing more of the things that will help move you towards success. Number four, blaming, complaining, and making excuses. Blaming, complaining, and making excuses won't change anything or do anything for you. It's much better to focus on a solution. Learn to take full responsibility for things that happen in your life. Yes, sometimes things may not be a direct effect of something you've done, but any involvement means you could be a part of the cause. When you blame others or circumstances for your conditions, what you are doing is simply resisting reality. While letting go of the tendency to blame and complain is not easy, taking ownership of your problems will ultimately allow you to gain more control over your life. Number 5. Postponing your personal health When it comes to health, sadly, it's not too high on most people's priority lists. You know the excuses. I'll start exercising next week. I'll start eating better tomorrow. I'll catch up on my sleep once this project is complete. This is a problem because when we keep putting things off, it eventually develops into a bad habit. The more you procrastinate, the deeper the habit is embedded in you, and you become okay with postponing things you know you need to do. Whatever your goal is and however you define success, one thing is for sure. A healthy body and mind is essential for leading a truly successful life. Start taking charge of your health today. Number six thinking you already know the answer. Many people fail because they aren't aware of their limitations. They're overconfident and believe they have it all figured out, which leads them down a path of mistakes and backtracking. A know-it-all attitude is a common cause of failure. Don't let arrogance stand in the way of your success. Thinking you've always got the right answer makes you feel like you don't need to ask questions. All this will do is make things harder and more dangerous for you limiting your capabilities in the long run. Try to talk less and keep your ears open more. Number seven, being reactive instead of proactive. You can't plan your day around what's coming at you. 
there will always be something more to do or unexpected things to deal with. You can't become short-sighted because of the challenges thrown at you throughout the day. Instead of reacting, weigh your options carefully and consider the best course of action. There will always be some unexpected obstacles and you'll just have to deal with them. You need to make conscious decisions about what you are doing rather than moving from one thing to the next. Let your goals for the day set the pace for your actions. Take care of everything else as best you can. Just remember to stay mindful of your purpose and be thoughtful about how you proceed. Number eight, overspending and undersaving. Being responsible with money is something everyone needs to master, regardless of whether it's personal finances or that of a company. Spending money you don't have or making financial decisions based on money not yet in the bank is a habit you need to break because not being able to budget can really hinder you later on. Overspending, undersaving, and generally making poor financial decisions sets you up for a life of anxiety. Living paycheck to paycheck, the need to make money just to survive, will overpower the need to achieve your goals. Financial well-being is important. It gives you the ability to take advantage of opportunities and provides you with a sense of security. Number nine, forgetting the long-term vision. Thinking only about tomorrow will lead you to work just to survive the next day instead of thinking about the future. And that is a surefire way to burn out. Getting closer to your long-term goals requires a long-term vision. It gives you more perspective, allowing you to look toward the future and envision what you want and what you need to do to get there. Thinking strategically about what actions and sacrifices you need to make now will lead to success and prosperity in the future. Without a long-term vision, you will be stuck in the same place for the rest of your life. Number 10, trying to do everything yourself. Taking responsibility for your actions is one thing, but no one is meant to take on every role, job, and accountability in their lives. Successful people don't overburden themselves. They know how to streamline the process by distributing the work to the people around them and to hire experts. In other words, you have to learn how to delegate. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness, and refusing it doesn't make you stronger. It only wastes your energy and weakens your potential. Number 11, staying too loyal. While loyalty is a very admirable trait and an important part of working with others, it should never overpower your ability to use logic and reason. For example, continuing to work with people who are negative or unproductive merely out of a sense of loyalty can be extremely detrimental. Of course, giving people time and guidance is an integral part of collaboration. But if they aren't cut out for the job, you have to let them go. Loyalty shouldn't supersede reality. Number 12, not clearing your mind. Stress tends to add up over time. And if you're not careful, it can start to weigh on you. Not taking care of your mental health is bound to catch up with you. Humans aren't made to work 24-7. We are not machines. And besides, even machines need maintenance. You need to find a way to take an hour here or an evening there to just relax and unwind. It can be as simple as going for a short walk to clear your head. Stepping away will not only improve focus and productivity, but it will give you a better perspective on whatever obstacle or problem you are facing. Number 13. Letting your mistakes get in the way of your future wins. You shouldn't let past mistakes and failures dictate how you deal with current situations. You should certainly reflect on your mistakes and learn from them, but don't let your fear of failure make you shy away from opportunities you have now, just because you failed the last time. Let go of your past and grab hold of your future. The first step on the path to achieving your goals is to believe in yourself and to believe that you can indeed have success. Number 14, waiting for your circumstances to change before you do. It can be tempting to think that once you have achieved that next thing or established a new relationship or got some degree of success, your life will change and you will feel better. This is destination addiction. Don't be pulled into it. The only way to achieve real change is from within. Life unfolds from the inside out. Your circumstances will change when you do, not the other way around. Success doesn't just happen by accident. 
If you want it bad enough, work hard and break the negative habits that hinder you, you will get it. So, live up to your highest potential and make daily decisions and improvements that will help you succeed. What do you think? Are any of these bad habits getting in the way of your success? Which ones do you need to work on the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.